Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering 5th Grade Math. Here we'll be adding fractions with unlike denominators. But in this case, we'll have to uh, take a little bit more work to find our common denominator. It's not hard, it's not difficult, but we just have to think a little bit more in order to find that common denominator. Once we found that, then we add the fractions exactly as we always have. So let's take a look at a problem such as this. What if we have 1 third and we're adding to that one half. All right, so the first thing we do is we look and see can, uh, do we have a common denominator between these fractions? And of course we don't. We have a two and a three. So now we go to the second part. We have to figure out how to make a common denominator between these fractions. But because two and three are not multiples of one another, we're, we're not going to be able in this case just to transform one of the fractions. I mean, think about it. If I multiply this one by 2 over 2, I would get 4 on the bottom. If I multiply by 3 over 3, I would get a 6 on the bottom, and none of those match the denominator above. So I'm really unable to just work with one fraction and get it to match the denominator of the previous one like I was able to do in the last section. All right, so when you can't do that, and likewise, I can't multiply this by anything to give me a 2 on the bottom. That's just not going to happen. So whenever you can't just work with one fraction, then you have to work with both fractions in order to get a common denominator. So the bottom line is what you're wanting to do is multiply this fraction by something, top and bottom, to give me a number on the bottom, a denominator, and then also multiply this fraction by something to give me the same bottom number. Now in this case, I look at 2 and 3, and I know that 2 and 3 will both go into 6. I know that they will both go into 6. So what I'm going to do, and that's what you're typically looking for. What, what I'm then going to do is I'm going to transform this fraction by saying 1 third, and I'm going to transform this fraction also. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply this fraction by 2 over 2. Remember, I can multiply anything I want, top and bottom, as long as I do it to top and bottom. Here I will have 2, 6, because 1 times 2 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6. All right, and then if I take this guy, I'll have 1 half, if I'm trying to find a common denominator of 6, what do I have to multiply here? 2 times 3 on the bottom, and also times 3 on the top. This fraction, as long as I multiply top and bottom by the same number, I'm okay. So what I will have here is 3 times 1 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6. Now look what's happened. Now I do have a common denominator between both of these fractions. In this case, it's a 6. And so then I can finish the rest of the problem exactly in the same way that I've always done before. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll talk about uh, some details here as we go along. Since we have a common denominator, we just keep it for the ride. 2 plus 3, we can add them together, giving us 5. 5 sixth. Now this is already fully simplified. We don't need to simplify it anymore because you can't divide top and bottom by anything to make it any simpler. So that's the answer. So notice what we had to do here different from the previous problems. We, we still were trying to get to the point where the denominators were the same. That's all we're trying to do with fractions when we add them. But in the previous problems, we only had to manipulate one fraction to get here. Now we had to manipulate two fractions to get there. The way that we pick what to do is because we're looking at these two bottom numbers and we're saying, gee, what can I multiply two times to give me a denominator that will also allow me to, to multiply this by something to get the same thing? For instance, I wouldn't want to pick 10 for my common denominator. If I tried to pick 10 for the common denominator, I'd have 2 times 5 giving me 10, and then 10 would be my denominator over here. Well, there's nothing I can multiply